bass to the world Bitch, bitch, bass to the world If you got that talent, let the whole world know At the bass to the world, big talent show Bitch, bitch, bass to the world Bitch, bitch, bass to the world Let me be a gentleman, woman, boy or girl Let your talents be seen, let your voices be heard the 15 competitors for the competition have been named. With one of the challenges behind them, it's now time for challenge number two. It's going to be a Soka Kaiso Calypso face-off that you don't want to miss. That is coming up right now on Beige to the World. I'm DJ Ras, and here's my co-host, Shanna Hines. Thanks, Ras. Welcome and good night to everybody, Beige of the World. We have a small studio audience here with us tonight to witness the second challenge. So good night to you. I hope you're ready for an unforgettable night. We have 15 very talented competitors coming out here to you tonight to try to win $20,000 and also a chance to perform internationally with Bungie Garland and Fian Lyons. That's right. And throughout the challenges, there will be no eliminations, remember? However, points will be awarded for each performance. At the end of the challenges, the 12 competitors with the highest scores will move forward to the semifinals. This gives you a chance to see what the competitors can truly do and give them an opportunity to sharpen their skills as entertainers. Competitors have been attending weekly training and development sessions and working alongside their mentors who are going to guide them through the next few rounds of the competition. So. Let's introduce our judges for tonight. Philip Forster. Malcolm X. The Queen, Alison Hines. And of course, our chief judge tonight, Senator John King. Here is how contestants performed in challenge number one. The local music challenge. In the bottom three for this challenge, Kyrie Aline, Jonathan Jordan, and Andrine McLean. And top of the score table are Diane Price, Damon and Asha, and Tariq O'Neill is top of the score table for this challenge. Coming up, the real competition gets started. Beige to the world, we'll be right back. It's a pleasure to work with these amazing young people, talent, and we're doing it different this year. More interactive, of course, is all about development and it's all about training. We've got a camp here coordinating, making sure that even with the challenges, they're not eliminated because it's all about building them. So one of the main things that we wanted to accomplish during this season was to expose the contestants to real life experiences. And in order to do that, we had to ensure that we provided them with mentorship and to get in contact with professionals in the specific areas that we wanted to focus on. We've had a series of workshops and working with these artists to bring out the best because Beige to the World Season 2 with anything in life you must evolve, you must become better and you must grow. So, so some of the workshops that the contestants would have been exposed to would have entailed um, building a positive mindset, uh, finding their center, vocal training, um, we would have looked at creating an electronic um, press kit, an EPK biography writing, uh, mastering press interviews, along with understanding the differences between artistic and personal style, and the importance of marketing on social media, and incorporating music videos and photography. These artists are ready, they are talented, they are vibrant, and of course, we keep the smiles on their faces, and coming here, it's like a school of thought, university of diversity, that's why we're here. Beige to the World, season two. The Beige to the World top 15 contestants participated in a series of workshops. They were judged on punctuality, overall attitude, participation and engagement, and mastery of the concept shared. Here is how the contestants performed. The top three performers in workshops with the highest scores, Andreen McLean, Makeda Lowe, and Christina Dotton is top of the score table. Thanks for joining us. Beige to the World, challenge number two. 
Most of the competitors got this far in the competition singing ballads, R&B, and pop. Now they must show how versatile they are in this Kaiso Calypso Soca Arena. A big showdown tonight. So let's jump right into it and introduce the lady who drew position number one. Give it up for contestant number one, Shante Aline Clark. original song for those of you who are wondering so it's beautiful it's beautiful but we're gonna get our judges comments we toss it over to Philip for the judges comments so like the last time I mentioned your confidence and that is so amazing now did you write that song I co-wrote it with Trinity Clark and Kareem Clark so what inspired you to write that song um, I basically just wanted to plead to persons in Barbados to start all forms of violence because as a child it was impacting me in many different ways and yeah. That is awesome because the emotion with which you delivered the record made me believe that you must have wrote, written that song. So congratulations, another great performance. I like you a lot and I can see you going far places in this, in this competition. Thank you. Shante? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, let me say, um, I was up in the rafters earlier tonight and I watched you. Uh, what I saw throughout the competition tonight is your best performance. I love your vocals, I love the range you did. I love the melodic structure. It sounds like a song I've known, although you said it's original, so it sounds yeah, like yeah. something I've, I've heard before. And that's what I like. I like to hear something I think I've heard before. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Shante, as, as usual, um, you were fantastic. Uh, just in the early stages of the song, the diction was a little bit uh, off, but these things happen at beginning is a song oftentimes so I wouldn't hold that against you but um, 
spot on in terms of your delivery, uh, in terms of the emotion, as Philip mentioned. Uh, obviously, you're invested in the song, so that came across also. Uh, but what I'd like to see do going forward is uh, every single nuance that is needed in order to impact on a listener, especially if you want to speak to the rest of the world. People who don't know anything about Calypso, you have to ensure that every every word has a feeling and a feeling on it that gives it the meaning. So, uh, good good job, though. Thank you. Yeah, this is my second time getting the opportunity to see you, and you know, you came out, came out this, you know, powerful again, confident, um, very much in control and in charge of the song. Uh, I'm happy to hear that you co-wrote it as well. So that is um, you, that you you should be commended for that. And of course, with the message that it is, um, and the the conviction that you put into it, uh, and your voice is great. Your voice is really, really it's strong. It's solid. Um, it was absolutely a solid performance. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Thank you once again, Shante. Beige to the World continues tonight with some terrific, wonderful, fabulous entertainment people. Next up, contestant number two. Give it up for Diane Chairman. Time. Let me shoot straight to the judges. Senator John. Well, let me tell you, Diane, you are just a bundle of dynamite. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you, you. You took that song, you took that song as a female and you made it your own. And I think you have there's something. Can't quite put my finger on it yet. Well, as this competition goes on, I'll be able to tell you exactly what it is. But it's that unknown star quality. And I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Miss Diane. Yes. 
I was really happy to, to hear and to see you as a female doing a male song. That was something that I was taught early in my career when I was in Square One. Musical director, Terry Arthur. He, I was never limited to just cover, at the time when we were covering songs, to just covering songs by females. I sang every kind of song by any kind of artist, male or female, because it allows you to stretch in a different direction. It allows you to give more of an interpretation. And you did that tonight. Thank you. Your energy was off the chain. And I mean, let me tell you, let me tell you now, you represent for the big girls real well. <laughs> Thank so you. keep on, keep, keep it up, my girl. You're doing well. Thank you. So my girl, how are you? I'm good. So energy, absolutely. Thank you. But I have to say, though, I'm unsure about you as a Calypso artist. I think it's because I've watched you perform other genres, so I've, I've had that chance to make um, you know, a, a comparison. So I'm afraid in, in the Calypso genre, I, I, I'm not sure that I can endorse you highly in this regard. Okay, no. I'm, 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 I'm Thank so you. sorry. Yeah. Diane? I enjoyed you tonight. The only thing I didn't Thank do is, is come up on the stage with you, yeah? That's it. <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed it tonight. Yes, you could just work. I mean, like I was echoing what Philip was said. I mean, it might not, it doesn't appear it is. You nailed it as your genre, but I enjoyed it. You were confident and you brought it. You brought Thank it tonight, you. okay? Yeah. Thank you. All right, Diane. Thank you. Great feedback from the judges. Give it up one more time. Thank you. Next up on the Beige to the World stage, we have coming to you, Jalissa Edwards. Good evening, everyone. You feel it warm. It's gentle touch The everlasting home Oh, it means so much A created world A vision so true A paradise of wonders for you To be caught in a rapture Of glories untold For with people of the Caribbean United in the Caribbean With one Caribbean beat Yeah! Join in musical matrimony Oh, it sounds so sweet Holding each other in a song Under the morning sun Then all our hearts can beat as one for we united in the Caribbean We have a task, it's to be one So get up, stand up strong Lift up your head and walk with pride It's so good to be alive Strengthen your body, your mind and your soul Spread your love let that be your goal Let your eyes be your light You go day and night Till all understand That we're people of That we're people of the Caribbean United in the Hey, hey, hey With one Caribbean be A song under the morning sun Then all our hearts can beat as one For we're united in the Caribbean Thank you Wow, Jalissa Edwards, give it up
My only problem is that I'm an Edwards and I absolutely cannot sing. I don't get it. But so it goes. We're going to get some comments from the judges right now. We toss it over to Malcolm X. Let's hear what the judges have to say. Jalissa, well done tonight. Thank you. Well done tonight. I like, see you, you're enjoying yourself. And when you enjoy yes. yourself, your, and it's, your energy comes off. But that's what we want. It comes off and it comes to us. All of us here are grooving and dancing. So you're, you're, Thank you. And you're getting better. Very good. Thank you. Jalissa, I think you, you just brought some energy to that song. Um, and I like the way you interpret it yourself. This was definitely your version of this song. So Thank I would you. say to you, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you got some work to do with your mentors in terms of you see the stage and how you project. But those are things that will come with experience and with practice. But uh, overall, a good job. Thank you. Jalissa, I loved your energy. Um, your voice is ridiculous. Um, there was, there, you did have some issues when it came to the change keys. Um, and that's, that can always be a challenge um, for any singer. So you just have to really, really, it's really about listening, you know, and really being able to hear where you have to go before you get there, you understand? Um, but overall, uh, I could see that you were having fun. We had great fun just watching you, um, you know, just singing and, and, and having that, that amazing voice. Thank you. But keep it going. I know you're gonna get better and better as you go. Thank you. Yeah, I like the way that you kind of like brought you to the song. And though there were some issues with the change key, you know, we heard it. It doesn't mean that you can't rise above that because it is just tonight, yeah? But surely this was a better performance than what I saw the last time. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you to the judges. Thank you once again, Jalissa Edwards. We've now had three contestants thus far in challenge number two. We are going to take a quick break, but don't you move. We got 12 more contestants to go. Base to the world. Welcome back to Beige to the World. Tonight is Kaiso Soka Calypso Night. And right now, without further delay, it's time to walk up with Damon Belcher and Asha Weeks. I want the baddest whining song listen to the world Every girl come out and spread out and wind up Bad girl back it up when you wind one This pussy don't tick tock when you wind one Make your fat body clap when you wind one This is not back and let go when you wind one Give me the wrong book when you wind one If you blind your wife Come show me the wine pan snapchat Lil Rick make them wine for me Bob Bam make them wine for me Black Sam make them wine for me Girl come wine for we Sit 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 Line up yourself girl now Get 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 ready to perform Ready to perform Ready to perform I know it isn't easy But you make it look so easy Girl yeah You don't need recommendation You come with qualification Already know the program, the world wrong the tongue. They say you're a monster, a monster. Why now? Why now? Show them your good girl. It's it. Line up yourself, girl. Now mm, get, 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 get ready to perform. Ready to perform. Hey. Ready to perform. Ready to perform. Hey. Ready to perform. Ready to perform. What? Ready to perform. Mm, mm. So, girl, take off your shoes and flat on this spot. Stretch out a bit, girl, and loosen up. Show them the thing, girl. Show them your heart. You come with 
my qualification You already know the program The way round the tongue They say you're a monster A monster Man, thank you so much to Damon and Asha. Right now, we're gonna toss to our judges. First up, the Queen Alison Hines. I thoroughly enjoyed you all again. Um, the energy is just flying off of the stage. Um, I can see y'all put everything into every movement. The only thing that I would say is that you have to get you really gotta be tight with when, when y'all are doing the movements that y'all are just mirroring each other, like you literally have to be each other's shadow um, because you go and nail like when there's those, the, the emphasis in the music and, the, and the, the drops and the beats and so on, that's the only thing, but your energy, your vibe, um, the fact that you're so enjoying yourselves, we got all of that. Thank you so much. Well, guys, I concur with everything that Allison said. In fact, actually, if this competition had a golden buzzer, I would do like this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you a good job. Yeah. Damon and Asher, I guess you guys stepped it up. You guys really stepped it up. Okay, so you guys give me my next music video, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> like Allison said, just got to work on it, just tighten up everything. My favorite part was like the slow motion, the matrix part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good stuff. Very good stuff. Listen, you guys are just great to watch, to be honest. And I'm sitting here and wondering how long it took you guys to put it all together. Two weeks. Yeah, that, that's a long time. So, do you ever forget your parts, though? Like, mm -hmm. you do? But tonight, you guys were almost flawless. Almost. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks once again to Damon and Asha. Thanks to the judges. Remember, follow Beige to the World on Instagram and Facebook at Beige to the World. And of course, we are having six challenges, people. This is just challenge number two. So we got lots and lots of action to come your way after six challenges. The 12 competitors with the most points will move forward to the semifinals, all right? So we are going to keep the show moving, people. Coming to you next, give it up for Andrine McLean. Yeah. 
noise for Andrine MacLee. Let's hear it, people. All right, we're going to go straight into the judging panel. Philip, let's hear from you. So, dear Andrine, how do you feel about this performance? Well, I'm hoping to get better comments, but I feel better about it. <laughs> this song, this performance endorses exactly how important it is to find the right song that suits your range and your style, okay? Because your voice can only shine in a situation where you know, the song allows you to. So this performance here says to me that I can now endorse you to the next round. Thank you for your energy, thank you for looking amazing, and thank you for your smile. All right. Andreen, I echo uh, Philip. I just thought that you could have, like, it seemed as if you were holding back some more. I was expecting more to, to come out, but I enjoyed the performance. Yeah. Andrew, I love this song. And I feel that as, and I gotta say, the only way I know to say it, as black people, if you're talking about praising God, and you got this kind of music that we create behind it, I expect to see and feel more energy. You know what I mean? Because I understand how it is when, when we talk about quote unquote gospel music mm -hmm. and people feel that like we should be like really really kind of conservative mm -hmm. and stuff like that and I felt I felt as if you had something tugging going on there like you wanted to let go but still you still felt like you have to be in this little box and I'm saying to you that regardless of what if you're praising God you're praising God and you praise God in your way but it was a it was okay but I know it could be a lot better if you just release yourself so you got room to, you got some things to work on. I have to, I, ag I agree with John. Um, <clears throat> I felt like, you know, you look amazing. And um, yes, you're praising God. And I felt like I needed to see more of that praise, that happiness, that, you know, um, your smile is beautiful. And, um, you know, I just, I just felt like you could have given that much more to say, well, yes, I am praising my God the way that I choose to praise my God. Um, but it was a good performance. And again, I know you're going to get better and better as it goes along. Andrew, thank you so much. Let's hear it one more time for the contest. <laughs> and up next, we have none other than Peter Cox with two X's. Peter Cox, two axes, bitch to the work. Hear me sing no. I never had it easy for the bones and the bling and the yes, when the thing no. I never had the money, never nice living. And mama say, oh, you can have it all. Just work hard for yours. Say, mama, you know I work hard for sure. Now that I bless you with the opportunity to fly country to country. Now I can drink champagne when I thirst. Now I can see all the things I never see. We say the beat and so it's so lucky. And I thank you for me family. Forever thankful for the dogs in the past and the people who love. Forever grateful for the times I failed. Mama say, oh, you can have it all. Just work hard for yours. I say, Mama, you know, work hard for sure. Not that I'm happy with the opportunity to fly country to country. 
Now what I drink down here when I thirsty Now I can see all these things I never see These tiny beards and boys are so ugly I'm gonna turn you far on the zombie Cause no bad man boy can stop me I'm spoiling every show cause trust me Life is a lovely boy And I'm far from finish boy And I can't believe it Of course, and I know he's feeling good. I know everyone is feeling good. Let's toss it over to our judges, Malcolm X, one X. So let's go. <laughs> first of all, first of all, first of all, we got us. What I see here is some transformation. So behind the scenes, all the mentors, the tutoring, all the workshops, hundred percent to those people in the background. Because what I see here tonight, the bar is like Peter. This is a different side of a UAC in tonight, boy. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, it wasn't well about dressed, me tonight. well dressed. I see you got the reindeer thing going on there at the top there. Thank you, brother. That's good. That's good. But Thank I like you, what I see. I like you enjoy yourself tonight, and your energy came off to us. Here. John it wasn't Allison about me tonight. No, I'm see, just this song, this song was yeah. meaningful for me. Understood. Understood. This was about my mom. Get it? Yeah. I understand. I get you, buddy. Well done. Respect. Well, my brother. I felt you. I, I did. I felt you. And for me, that is the mark of a great performance. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter all the bright lights. It doesn't matter all the sweet band. It's how I feel. Mm -hmm. And you made me feel mm -hmm. a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. And for me, this competition is special. Because now that you have this, this aspect where you have to interpret your music music that we create, we the people of the Caribbean. And to see you do this in this way and, and the others is really special for me. So good job, my brother. I know whatever it is you're dealing with, you're dealt with it in the music. Be strong. I wish you luck. Thank you, sir. I keep coming across contestants who leave me speechless, and you have done that because... I said it to John just now. You channel shadow so serious just now. So serious. And you, you, were, you were in the music. The music was you and you were the music. Thank you, ma'am. And the way that you, you, everybody in here felt that energy and that vibe. And let me tell you, Rach, you got so much more to come. So much more to come. You are awesome. Thank Peter you. Peter Cox with two X's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Peter, um, I hate to be intrusive. What it is about your mom? You mentioned that just now. It might be somebody else's experience. I lost my mom three years ago. Oh, man. My sincerest condolences. Yeah, so the whole, the whole yeah. lyric of the song, mm -hmm. it... It basically mirrored a conversation that me and my mom had okay. the last day before she transitioned. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? She'll be proud of you tonight because when you came out in this performance, you like yeah. you on the stage, you, you celebrated her life. Yeah. And that's important. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you to the judges and thank you, Peter Cox, your Bye. two exes, people. Thank you. That's right. Beige to the world. We continue right now. We've had... Six contestants, and we are going to take a quick break right now. And when we return, we're going to have some more action right here. Base to the world. Welcome back. Base to the world. Six contestants have gone, and we have a lot more people. It's time for contestant 
Number seven, give it up for Harmony Haynes. <laughs> To the judges, let's go with Philip. What are your thoughts? I have very good thoughts, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> because I'm curious to know, um, Harmony, how challenging had it been to transform yourself from singing oh, the very challenging, very yeah, very. But I'm very used to you know heartbreak and stuff like that. So oh, talking about setting is very hard. Yeah, that well, you know, something. <laughs> well, you know, listen, listen, you made it sound very easy it was enjoyable and i like the innocence of your performance there's something about you that is so sweet thank to be you honest so much. I, I, you know i love your performance good thank job you. thank yeah. you thank you harmony that's a nice name well done tonight i can see thank you. that you were um like philip was saying like you just actually told philip the transformation yeah. going in yeah. so to me watching you didn't seem as if you was like that's not you but you, whatever you do Whatever you did in tonight, it came and you in, did it in your, in own, your way. own way. Thank and it you. came out. It came out. I Thank enjoyed you so it. much. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Harmony, if the transformation was hard for you, I would like to see you when it wasn't if it ain't hard. <laughs> you have it. Yeah. You have it. Absolutely. Trust me, you have it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And I think all you, all you need now is a little bit more confidence in your own abilities to interpret soca music. But trust me. I've seen a lot over the years. You have it. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Harmony. I only got one thing really that I need to pick at. Because 
this is the queen, so you know I ain't gonna put you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Vocally, yes. How you look, you, you look beautiful. Thank you. Portrayed all of that. I just felt like, I felt like I needed a little bit more, I need a little bit more walk up, to be very honest. <laughs> No, no, no. And Jeez. not to the point. No, 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 no. Hold on. Nope. Not to the point. Not to the point of. Not to the point of ridiculous. But if you're singing, um, uh, nothing on you, nothing on me, nothing on us, so different. No, but we pelt in the same ways. It's just a matter of just being a given, given, giving the body a little bit more of a of a move. That's all. <laughs> because. And a lot of times you were, you were, there were points where you were like standing up, like just stopped and just stood up and sang and then went again. And there's nothing wrong with stopping, yes, but I just felt like there needed to be a little bit more body movement in terms of Understood. being able to interpret. Understood. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Philip. <laughs> Listen, I like the innocence of your performance. It was That's great. fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was one of my favorite to, songs, actually. To be I quite had honest. to change yeah. the lyrics from rum to juice because I am 17 and I cannot drink rum. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good But you job. did a great job. You, you did, did a great, great job. job. <laughs> yeah. Give it up one more time for Harmony Hayes. Get us some deep advice from the Queen of Soka. Wow. We're going to move on to the next contestant, and he's back on the sax to seduce all of us in here. It's Jonathan Jordan. Question. I got one question to ask Jonathan before I toss it to the judges. This week you came with a different energy. I wanna if somebody tried it down with you, Jonathan. That was all I wanna. <laughs> because you get some energy like you're really feeling it like 
<laughs> she really tried it down with me, boy, but I said, I ain't laughing. But let's toss it to the judges. We'll start with the queen, Alison Hyde. Yes, Jonathan. Yes. Improving all the time. Thank you. Improving all the time. Um, I, can, I can see there's still some hesitancy, and I can see that you're not, you know, fully comfortable there as yet, but you're working on it, and you're working to get there. Thank you. So keep on doing that, all right? Thank you. Yeah. Jonathan, you were fun. You, were, you looked like you were having fun. I, I certainly enjoyed every moment of it. Um, I think, though, as an instrumentalist, you're going to have to learn how to, as we would say sometimes, get outside of the melody and show people what you yeah, can do yeah, at some yeah, point in yeah. time in the song. Mm -hmm. Not just play note for note from top to bottom. Yeah. Bring some, some of your own originality to it. Mm -hmm. Try not to think too much about the dancing parts. You got, you got to look at your audience and know when and where and, and map out your performance. So you know at some point in time, you're going to be focusing on somebody way in the back, and then you focus on somebody to the left, somebody to the right, somebody. For, and know at which points of that song do you want to hit. Because there was a part when you went high, and you got the reaction from the crowd. Mm -hmm. But you have to map it out so that your performance is almost like a movie. Everything is there. But good job. The energy was there. I loved it. Thank, Thank you. you. Jonathan, Jonathan, from the first time we saw the audition the, 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 that you submitted, 15 seconds within the, I was probably the only one who was saying, this boy got something, right? Thank You're you. very talented. Thank you. What you need to do with the saxophone, let it be your woman. <laughs> you understand? Now the dancing has to go in sync with your body movement. You, the way you caress that, that saxophone, that, that's an emotional song as well. You, were, you weren't sinking while you were playing. You were, you know, your feet were going one way and you were just, mar just marriage it, but you're going places, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and you know something, we are here to encourage you, not to discourage you. And it's important to listen to what everyone here is saying, yeah? But I say to you prophetically, as I said earlier, in a year's time, you're gonna be Jonathan the man, okay? Remember that. Thank you so much, judges. Thank you so much, Jonathan Jordan. That's right, beige to the world, people. Remember, you can catch it every Saturday night, CBC TV 8, and it's repeated on Mondays at 9 p.m., people. Follow Beige to the World on Facebook and on Instagram at Beige to the World. Tonight is only challenge two, people. We got four more challenges to go after tonight, and after that, we're going to pick the 12 competitors with the most points to move to the semifinals. Now, it's time to move on with the show. It's time for the next contestant. Give it up for Christina Dutton. Don't take with me my canal Don't take me no cannibal Till can't do in the fence in two Keep six feet apart Then tell me no my canal No cannibal Till can't do in the fence in two You see me say And I'm missing no friends That's all, that's all, that's all Don't tell me I'm gone in this year And I'm not taking it well at all For your sin You see, they say, 
You are in your element tonight, Christina. And we're going to go to the judges and hear how they feel about it. Malcolm, let's Christina, hear you. Christina, Christina, drama's called next year, so I guess you're ready for next year. It's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got to say because we're sure about this year. Tell me about this song quickly. All right, so I wrote this song in 2020 when everything first started. Mm -hmm. I used to be somebody who never used to go out. Mm -hmm. Everybody would call me and say, Chris, come out. No, not tonight. So after this mm -hmm. whole pandemic, I was like, I want to go everywhere. I want to drink everything <laughs> at this point. So, yeah. Okay. I enjoy that. You're giving me a... a, 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 a <laughs> you're giving me, you're giving me uh, imaging here with Destra. Vo no, seriously. The vocal phrasing I hear in Fian Lines. So, you're on your way. Okay? Thank you. All right, darling. I definitely got a pick up from you, Malcolm. Um, I also see Secure. Okay, so okay yeah. I, yeah, I do. Heard, yeah. Um, and so... I, I just want to say, I mean, I, I, I got to say this, you know, as a person who's been involved in Calypso and Soul, I think for a very long time, I think what you guys are doing now, music, um, just the way you interpret it and everything, for me, has a lot more international appeal than what we were doing back in my time. For sure. And so, therefore, I want to encourage you. You look very comfortable in it. You look the part. I believe you could be a soccer star anytime you decide that you want to be. So just keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Thank you. You had a great time, huh? <laughs> you had a great time. I, I could tell. And it, 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 it was, everybody here felt it. And yes, we waiting on whenever that time to be able to go in everything and drink everything because that's how everybody feels right now. Um, but I love, I, I love your voice. I really love your voice. Thank you. It's, it's, there's just, there's just this, this it factor to it. And then your look, you look, it, that's like perfect. And you know, your energy, Everything works. Like, and as John said, you could be a soca star anytime that you feel like it. You understand? Thank you. There you go. One more time, guys, for Christina Dotson. That's my bad. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> because I was going to say, I was surprised. I'm surprised that the soca queen didn't tell you that you need to walk up more. I, mean, <laughs> I think it's probably worth it. You because at me, Philip. You at me? Or? Not really. I just saying. I'm just saying. With all due respect, because I ain't see your worst move yet, to be honest. But but having said that, though, there's a style that you're doing that I like. Um, John King used the word international, Shakira. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing. So you can give your waist a rest and do the other things that you're doing. I, I like it a lot. I really do. Thank you. I know. Give it up one more time for Christina Dotton. We cannot wait to see what else we have in store for Beige to the World tonight. But for now, we're going to take a short commercial break, but we'll be back with more Beige to the World. Welcome back, Beige to the World. It's time for our next contestant, Kyrie. Ali. Yeah. 
Okay, Kyrie, remember I told you when uh, a couple uh, times back uh, throughout the show, I would like to hear you doing a ragasoka. There you go. You brought it and you worked it out. <laughs> Very good tonight. I like your animation, by the way. The animation and stuff, yeah. You, got, you keep watching you on the stage. You don't take your eyes off. So that's good. That's good. You brought me in. All right? Thank you. Very good. Yes, Kyrie. <laughs> My brother, I think you work it out. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else to say. I think I said it all when I first saw you. You, you have star quality. Yeah. And I, I am one of these people who really believes that when we, and I, I guess for people in the audience who might be in my age group would know what it was like when you had to sing Calypso yeah. in the early days. And people used to call it banjo. Grandmother vex, <laughs> mother vex, everybody vex. Can't sing it. So for me to see that in this time, the gospel music of all music takes on soccer. Mm -hmm. It's such a huge deal. Yeah. And to have young people fun. doing it, fun. it's fun, yeah. it's uplifting. I praise God. That's all I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Work it out, brother. <laughs> Kyrie, there's like I that was a heck of a performance. From the time you stepped onto the stage to the last note that the band played, you were absolutely in control, and Jesus is working it out for you, let me tell you. 
You represented. You really, really did. You gave it your all. You even had a little breakdown and brought to, and and talked to the audience. And you know, you you just you inherently understand these things. And I don't know. You could only get better. You can't get worse. Let me tell you. <laughs> well done, uh, Kyrie. Thank you, well thank done. You very much. It's not very often that you have two segments one night where you get a chance to redeem yourself. So I'm just wondering to what extent what I said to you earlier, say, okay, I'm going to go up and show this guy I can do it. Is that, did it. <laughs> is that true? Did you? Yeah? Well, listen, man, you did it. I like you again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Work you it. so much, Kari. You're working it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On to our next contestant for the night. I want to introduce you guys to Makeda Lowe. See Makeda come out of a plane on stage. Got some other air hostesses dancing with her backup dancers. Yes, please. We are going to toss it to our judges right now. Senator John, take it away. Makeda, Makeda, Makeda. All, all it, listen, you are just a star. <laughs> Trust Thank me. You. You, just, there's, you have that thing. You just come on stage and you just light up everything and everybody, just look back, everybody just having a ball with you. You got the look, you got the energy, and I think those are things that no one can teach you those things. You have to have it, and you have it, and continue on where you're going, because maybe when I get a little bit older and probably can't walk too much, I'll be still checking your music, so keep going. All right, going. Yeah. thank you. <laughs> Miss Cutie Makeda. Hi, Allison. <laughs> your, your energy your whole your your you just your being is just is so bright 
with oh, all of these lights. You're being, you're, you're just light. And when you were, I watched you, and when you were talking about you can handle it and all that, you still, you did it in such a way that it was easy. It was easy to watch you and it was easy to actually want to be a part of the performance. And that's important. That's important for your audience to feel as though, yeah, I could, I could get into this. Your voice, you know, your, your delivery, um, your energy, everything. Thank you so much, Makita. Thank you. Makita, so there are just a few aspects of what all the judges have said that I can endorse, but I'm still listening to you and I'm hearing pitch issues that um, are troublesome to me. But I'm saying it, it could be just tonight. It, it, it might not be anything that, that's malignant, you know what I'm saying? So um, in the future, despite how you perform, you have to consider that you have to consider your pitch because when you go to record, you know you can't record on the key. You get what I'm saying? That is my only concern. But apart from that, it's okay. Thank you, Makita. Is that an original song? No, that's Nikita's song. Nikita, which yeah. one? Flight. Okay, flight. flight. All right, all right. Um, I see. Every, I echo what everyone else said. No, everyone said that you light up. You light. You lit up in here. Did you? Were you lit? I was okay because yes. watching what the, everything the, uh, the 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 theater the Disney the whole theatrics yes but in your eyes I was watching and I I, I sent some un, like uncomfortable or nervous so Probably that's why thinking, yeah. so that's why I asked if you were lit yourself because yeah. you you light up all of us so I want to know if you were lit yourself because you didn't look it in your eyes okay so just that's just all I wonder about okay hence probably what Philip was saying with the pitchiness and you didn't you know mm -hmm. confidence level but overall. Well, thank you once again, Makeda Lowe. That's right. So we keep the show moving, people, and it's time to bring some more talent to the stage. Give it up for Tariq O'Neill Griffith. But cut and got you like Juve And the way you may crumble I remain humble I know to say to say that yes of course But I'm gonna get See this journey will never go in vain No, no Yes of course But I'm gonna get See this journey will never go in vain No, no I'm gonna go to push Push, push and got you We're gonna push the judges. Philip, let's come straight to you. So I listen mentioned about you singing the other song and getting the girl, you know, that, that kind of sentimental girl. But now I realize you can get a soca girl, you know. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, because when you hard with soca as well, you know what I'm thank saying? You, you. I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, 
You are the man. Congratulations, thank brother. You, thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Tariq, well done. Well done, Tariq. Well done. Um, you're one of the people I would probably leave here tonight and go straight to the studio with. Does that make sense? Yes, please. Yeah. That's what I'm talking thank about. Thank you. <laughs> the only thing I will work on, though, the only thing I will work on is the wardrobe. This is good, but not... That's going to happen in that's time. That's going to happen worry in time. That's that's gonna gonna but you understand? Yes, sir. Voices yeah. first. Yeah. Yes, sir. The voices first. <laughs> I think I have to I have, I have to endorse uh, everything that both Philip and, and Malcolm have said uh, in terms of you look at everything yes, for this particular genre in, in particular. Um, now this song, and I've got to be honest with you, this this song is one of my all-time favorite calypsos. Uh, you know, especially the new the new wave things, and the gentleman who who, who wrote it and sang it. Is what you call a real, real singer. Absolutely, a real, real Absolutely. singer. Absolutely. And so you did a, a justice to it. You did Thank justice you. to Thank it. You so much. But I, but in future, I want you to let me see a little bit more of you. Yes. Please. You know, and just your own interpretations of the whole thing. But a good job. Well, listen. Thank you. Yeah. Tariq. <laughs> Um, I really, really enjoyed this. And I was interested to see, and to hear, I should say, how you were going to, to deliver um, doing soca. Because I know, I, I, you know, I heard you um, do uh, the ballad and your voice was so smooth and so... And yeah, you impressed me. Thank you very you much. impressed Thank me. You delivered. You and your diction was still as clear. The message got across. Everybody in the audience heard you, felt you, everything. You are awesome, Tariq. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Tariq. I know we are going to push on through to a commercial break. We'll be back with more Bitch of the World in a moment. Welcome back, Beige to the World. We've had 12 contestants for the night, and that means we have just three more. So, it's time for contestant number 13. Give it up for Rebecca Carter. I lift my head up to the skies And question the heavens asking why Why must I go on to live In this violence and crime Why can't I tell the lands I know Watch all my children's children grow Why must I go on to live In this violence and crime a new day begins and you're feeling down and out the problems ahead don't know yet what they're about you wish you could die so this madness could be gone it's nonsense to hide and run something says keep pushing on Oh gosh, 
So I lift my head up to the skies and question the heavens, asking why, why must I go on to live in this violence? Make some noise for Rebecca Carter taking on a classic classic there. We are gonna go straight to Philip. Let's hear you. I just love your voice, I really do. Um, and I'm sitting here thinking about an album, but just you making all of these records in your style, because it is so original, it is so tasteful. I'm in love. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Rebecca. Another one that going in the car to the studio. Yeah. <laughs> well Thank done. you. It's refreshing to hear a, a, yeah. a lady sing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And your, your voice, I love your, 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 your huskiness and the, Big voice. Well done, Rebecca. This, this song was the beginning of a, I guess you could call it a Calypso revolution. Absolutely. In the 90s. Mm. Yes. Um, prior to this, there was a particular way in which people felt that Calypsos were supposed to be done. Correct. Yeah. It, became, it started to become boring after a certain amount of time. Yeah. So I, this has been one of the pivotal songs in the, in the, in the Calypso catalog, so to speak. I think you did a, 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 a good job of, of it, but these are the type of songs that are really emotive. And you had, in order for me to actually feel the essence of this song, I didn't get that from you. I, I got good singing, but I didn't get the feel that I need for it. So maybe there's a time for maybe you and your mentors to go back and start to listen to this, this song again, if you have a chance to do it again, to listen to it and capture the nuances of Edwin Yearwood and the expression in getting, because that is what really makes this song what it is. You know, but overall, I can't fault you on, on singing, on presence, on any of those things, but it's just that the type of song that it is, you need to get that emotion in order for it to go, you know, where it's supposed to be at. Thank you. Rebecca, um, yeah, I, I co-sign on what John says in terms of, I mean, you have a great voice. There's, nobody is denying that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, but because of the kind of song that it is, um, you know, there just needs to be uh, a, little bit, a little bit more emotion, a little bit more because, you know, you're talking about a voice in your head and how you're feeling and, and all of that. I mean, you sang it really well. It just needed to, you know, have that little bit more, you know, but great job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Great job. Now let's pick up the pace a little bit, yeah? We want to welcome to the stage, Diana Price. Could have been both a year or two. What we got drink and what we got do. Hey, hey, long time. Been a while since I bust a wine. Look, you look for your look. Look who you're looking fine. I thought you hiding. I thought you went for it. Look how things happen now. Look how things happen now. So let me have a fun squeeze you. I don't want to leave you. Look how things happen now. Look how things happen now. So now we Look how you're looking fine I thought you hiding I thought 
it to our judges right now. Malcolm, we start with you. Diana Price, I like you. I like you, I like you, I like you. Remember you had that outfit I said I could see it from Mars? You got another one tonight. I love it, I love it. And you're whining, so Allison, you get, you get it. You get some whining. Yeah, I, I love your, I like your voice. I like your tone. I like your tone. I, yeah, yeah. You enjoy that? You enjoy that, Dan? Yeah, you're in your element. Okay. Another one to the studio. All the best, Dan. Hope to see you uh, in the next one, yeah? Thank you. Very good. So, Dan, let me ask you a question. Were you really comfortable with this soccer song? No. I can tell. I, I can tell. I can tell. So it's, there's, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no fault in your voice or your singing pitch, not, nothing at all. But I go back to something I mentioned to someone earlier. With soccer music, especially a sound like this, it's storytelling. You have to paint the picture, an uh, inside effect. You gotta paint the picture of me not seeing you for a long time. You have to be that thing. That is what gets the party people going when they can see the picture in their heads, right? So you didn't accomplish that for me, but those are things that you can work on as you go along, you know. But like I said, uh, solid performance. But solid is not going to cut it. We need exceptional. All right. Diane. Um, your voice is really good. There's no doubt about that. I could see, I could see you weren't comfortable. You were definitely out of your element and you could see it. So you weren't, you were just concentrating on all right, let me get through this song. I could see, I could see all of that. It was all over your face, your body, your, your, your body language, everything. And people don't realize performing soca and having to be able to dance at the same time is not as easy as it looks. Only Austin Heights can do that. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. <laughs> and, I, and I could tell it was, it was catching you. You were catching your breath. You were trying to, you was like, oh God, I gotta get through this song, I can get through. So long I ain't see ya, give me a, oh God, I gotta sing this again, oh God, I can get there, I can get there, get there. So long I ain't see ya, I should go on again. But I want you, I want you to continue to do things that are gonna be out of your comfort zone. Because you're accustomed to singing like ballads and that kind of stuff where you just have to stand up and sing. And Especially with soca, yeah. the audience has to be convinced that what you are singing, that the message that you're getting across, that they are feeling it. I wasn't convinced and this audience was not convinced. So that is something that you definitely need to work on in terms of interpretation of any song, not just soca, going forward. All right? All right, love. My question, um, why were you uncomfortable singing this song tonight? Soca. Right. Mm -hmm. 
And why did you not choose another kind of soca song? Is it because of this one in particular, talking about all the different things, no. the lyrics? Because I was saying that, if, are you a member of a worship team or something, a worship team? Because no. I thought you passed, you were thinking that you passed, maybe watching that one. <laughs> that's why you were so, <laughs> that's why you were so conservative, you know what I'm saying? But I have to say, thank you for taking me to Trinidad. Um, 2018 was, was my first carnival experience. And this record always reminds me of that wonderful experience. So thank you for taking me there. And like Alison says, though, and John said it as well, you know, just choose the, the genre that, that you're happy with and you're comfortable with so we can see more credibility in your performance as we saw the first time tonight. But thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Deanna. Right now, we've had 14 contestants for the night, people. We have one more. So, time for me to bring contestant number 15 singing an original song tonight. Give it up for Ramon Bad. Bitch to the world. This is a song. This is a song in time. I don't know, I don't know. Fine wine, you're looking like fine wine. All alright, haven't seen you in years, my friend. We used to party way back when. The wife was nice from the start to the end. No fighting, nobody in problems. So first time you see you in a decade. Must say you're looking better with age. Let me talk her no more. Big woman shape to this dear girl. The finish it. You're still looking sweet, girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. What is it you eat, girl? You put on some beef, girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. Come over to me, girl. Bring back memories, girl. Let me bring it back. Ha. Whoa, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Wine, wine, you're looking like fine wine. Well, alright, what's the secret you're using? Alison, your pretty light flower in blooming. Your waistline rocking to the rhythm like cruising. She's saving your wine this time, mommy. Whoa, but what's still being tender? Only thing she near me, I could not remember. Do this time, girl, return to sender. I bought this sweet, sweet wine like you. You're still whining, sweet girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. But this is your need, girl. You put on some beats, girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. You're still whining, sweet girl. Come over to bring back memories, girl. Let me go along. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Wine, wine. You're looking like fine wine. I don't know, don't let it go. You got the type of flow to make your head grow from head to toe. You're done the show. No competition, you got the gold. Mix me. I don't know, no, no let it go. You got the type of flow to make your head grow from head to toe. You're done the show. Whoa! You're still waiting, sweet girl. You're still waiting, sweet girl. What is it to eat, girl? You put on some meat, girl. You're still waiting, sweet girl. You're still waiting. Come over to me, girl. Bring back memories, girl. Bring it back, bring it back. Whoa! I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Fine wine, you're looking like fine wine. Well, alright. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Fine wine, you're looking like fine wine. Whoa! I don't know, I don't know. Fine wine. All the beautiful ladies in Barbados, make some noise. Alright then. Hey, my name is Ramon Bad. Be a city where I bless her. Bad and Bad. Ramon Bad. Ramon Bad. Woo, woo. Come on. This is the final performer for the night, guys. And he really did a good job. Let's hear oh, from thank the you, judges thank now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alison, we're coming to you. Fine wine. Yes, ma'am. I love that you have been that you're a, you're a good songwriter. You have been. Thank you very much. Um, this Appreciate is my that. second time seeing you, and uh, you know you've been delivering um, a, such a nice groovy soca. Um, my only thing would be your mic technique. Stop! Stop grabbing up 
the head I of the mic. Yeah. That's the hip hop. So I you know. know. I realize that. I realize that. I, I, I realize because I yeah. saw it. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I didn't say anything the first time that I saw you. And then I was like, all right, let me, let me say something this time. So it's going to, that's something that you just have to be aware of. That's just, that's, you know, that's, but that doesn't take away from, from your performance, you know. Um, I like what you're doing. Um, I love your tone. I love your energy. Um, just, j just keep on doing what you're doing. Thank I mean, you, thank Ramon, you. Ramon, you're bad. Thank you, thank oh you. my. <laughs> Ramon, I got you my Simon Cowell impersonation. I like you. <laughs> I think you're fabulous. <laughs> and you're gonna go a lot of places. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank you, man. <laughs> like that, like. Well done, John. Well done. That was good. Good on you. Good on you, John. Right. <laughs> Ramon, 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 bad. It's yes, good sir. To, good to see you in this genre. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very different for me. Predominantly a pop artist. It. Yeah, you did well. You look, the full package. You look like the full package, to be quite honest. You know? Um, like I said, we leave here, get in the car, go straight to the studio. That's what we're looking for at. For sure, for sure. That's what we're looking at, yeah? So we can take and put on the radio. Yes. You're good. Very Thanks, good. man. Thank you. The bar yeah. is set. Absolutely. And um, Malcolm has said it. John has said it as well. Alison has as well. So I believe that the base to the world has to be about finding that commercial artist that we can sell to the world, yeah? It cannot be about who can sing the best notes and uh, the, the great karaoke and the opera stuff. Right. It has to be about guys like you and a couple of few of the artists we saw tonight that can actually take and package to the world. But having said that, I'd like to compliment the band for the great job they did tonight. Yeah. Back in the yes. Office. And by the way, just so you guys know, these are some of the, the best musicians. soccer musicians in the Caribbean, just mm -hmm. so you know. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep. And thank you, Ramon. Good thank stuff. You so thank, you. thank you so much, Ramon. You're bad, bad, bad. We have come to the end of the second challenge. Kaiso, Soka, Calypso. I'm going to miss it. I love soca music. Yes, please. We know you do. Oh, my goodness. So, after all those spectacular performances this week, here is a look at the scorecard. This is how contestants performed in challenge number two, the Calypso Soca Music Challenge. In the bottom three this week, Jalissa Edwards, Andreen McLean, and Diane Price. Top of the score table, Damon and Asha, Christina Dottin, and the winner of challenge number two, is Peter Cox. Now for the tally of workshop scores, along with points awarded in challenges one and two. The three performers at the bottom of the score table this week are Rebecca Carter, Peter Cox, and Jonathan Jordan. The top three in the competition at this stage are Tariq O'Neill, Makeda Lowe, and leading the pack is Christina Dottin. And that is it for Challenge 2. Thank you so much for tuning in to Beige of the World. Next week, come again where you'll see all of the contestants doing contemporary jazz. Can't wait to see that. Thank you. And good night. Good night. <laughs> Just bring it, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch to the world, bitch, bitch, bitch to the world. Nation World is brought to you by the Community Development Department in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment and participating sponsors.